In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the touch screen features of the Sony RX10 IV camera, just, just on the screen part, not, on the, not in the viewfinder uh, with the touch pad. So to set up uh, for this demonstration, we'll go to the touch operation item on the setup menu, set that to touch panel plus pad, and we will turn the focus mode dial to the S position for single autofocus, set focus area to wide. And now we're set up to just be able to touch the screen at any point, and the camera will place a focus frame there. Then you have to touch the uh, shutter button halfway down, press it halfway down, and the camera will focus at the place where you touched the screen. So you can just do that as many times as you need to. You can touch that little icon with the hand and the X to turn off touch focus. Now uh, we've reset focus area to flexible spot so we have the movable focus frame. Now you can drag that focus frame any place you want to on the screen over the subject that you want the camera to focus on. Press the shutter button halfway down and the camera will focus at that location. So you can do that of course as many times as you want to but you also still have the option of just touching the screen at any point. You don't have to drag the frame to a new location. You can just touch the screen at the place where you want the camera to focus and it will automatically immediately jump the focus frame to that location there where I just touch the screen, touch the screen and it will focus. Or you, So you can either drag the frame or just touch the screen to position the frame at a new location with the um, flexible spot setting for focus area. Now we'll set the focus mode dial to C for continuous autofocus and we will change focus area to lock on AF. Why? Just to show how that works. And now you just press the location you want and the camera uses its lock on capability to try to lock on to the subject where you pressed the screen. You can see those little green squares where it's using its continue autofocus system to lock on to that particular subject that will try to stay locked on. You can press the little icon there to turn off the touch, touch focus. Now we'll switch back the focus mode dial to the S position for single autofocus and we'll turn on center lock on AF which is a little bit different from lock on AF. Now you see at first you can't touch the screen and accomplish anything. You have to first activate center lock on AF by pressing the center button. Now it's activated now you can just press the screen any place you want and the camera will place its double bordered lock on AF frame at the new location and it will attempt to keep that subject inside that frame in focus. And you can cancel by touching that little icon and once it's been started once you can then restart it, the center lock on AF you can restart it by pressing the screen with your finger and then move the focusing frame wherever you want to by just touching the screen. Now we'll go into recording movies with touch focus and at first we're just using focus area set to wide and the camera uses what Sony calls spot focus. It will just focus at the spot that you touch and if you watch the very left of the screen, you'll see that the focus mode switches into MF for manual focus when you do that, so you can adjust the focus manually if you want to. Now we'll switch focus area to flexible spot, and you will have the movable focus frame. You can drag that around the screen as you could for taking stills. You just drag the focus frame, and it will refocus at the new location. So you can do a pull focus type of operation using this flexible spot frame. Right now we have it at a normal speed and in a moment I'm going to show you how this works when you set the AF drive speed menu option to slow and then I'll also demonstrate that with fast. Right now it's doing it at the normal speed. Now we'll go to AF drive speed and set it to slow and you'll see a I think a fairly noticeable difference here. When you drag the focus frame from one subject to another, the camera will focus at a more gradual, slow pace. So you, you might like that appearance, that atmospheric uh, look for your 
full focus or you're refocusing to have a nice slow gradual transition and after this we'll reset the uh, AF drive speed menu option to fast and show how that looks and there again I think you should find this quite noticeably different it kind of zips to the new focusing almost immediately as soon as you move the frame it's practically already focused at the new location so you have your options there with that AF drive speed menu option on the camera settings to menu to change that appearance now here we have the camera in playback mode you can double tap the screen to enlarge the recorded image and you can scroll it around and double tap again to reduce it back to normal size and finally in manual focus mode with the focus mode dial at MF you can double tap the screen it doesn't always work the first time but double tap the screen and the camera will enlarge the shooting screen here I have focus peaking turned on with the yellow pixels so you can adjust the manual focus and scroll the screen around with your finger and when you're satisfied you can double tap the screen again to return it back to normal this is actually the focus magnifier option which is also available through the menu and that is a summary of the touchscreen features of the Sony RX10 IV you can check out my book on the camera and you can get more information about that book at whitenightpress.com.